stupid fly. Ugh. Great. Is something wrong? First there's this fly bugging me, and now my pen's refusing to write. Everything seems to be broken around here. My phone is broken, and that's why I'm forced to read. Reading's not so bad, but I guess a broken phone is serious. Well, all you need to do is get a new pen and maybe kill that fly. I'm all out of pens, and I don't really want to hurt the fly, I just want it to go away. But you hate bugs. Just because I don't like bugs doesn't mean I want to kill them. I'd rather just let it go. You know you're only going to let more flies in. I don't think so. This is a February fly. There can't be many more outside. Come on, fly! Come on, fly. I'm trying to save your life here. All you gotta do is fly out the door. There. Problem solved. Jillian, why'd you do that? I said problem solved. Jeez. Whatever. What's the matter? There's something out there under the shrub. What is it, another fly? No, it looks like a bone or something. Let me see. That doesn't look like a bone, that almost looks like an antler. There's a lot of deer in our yard, maybe one of them shed an antler. I don't know though, it looks pretty long. That'd be kind of neat to bring in for science class. Well, all you have to do is go get it. I'm scared there might be bugs on it. Can you get it for me? Oh, sure. Make me get it. Now that I look at that, it might be a goat horn. There's goats walking loose around here? Eh, it's probably an old one. There used to be farms on this property. Well, why wasn't it there before? Eh. Probably some animal just dug it up recently. Wait, there's animals digging things up in our yard? All the time. Can you just bring it in before those digging animals come back? Alright. Be careful, Jillian. Wow, this thing's a lot longer than I thought. Do goats grow their horns that long? I don't think this came from any kind of goat that I've ever seen. Well, we'll just bring it in in case that goat comes looking for it. This didn't come from a goat. What kind of animal did it come from? I think there's some gazelles that have straight horns, but I don't think they look like this. Gazelles? Aren't gazelles from Africa? Well, this is obviously some kind of animal horn. Do you have any theories? I do, but you have to promise not to laugh. Alright, I won't. I think this is a unicorn horn. You do know that unicorns are just a myth. I know that, but we have to call this something, and you have to admit, it looks like a unicorn horn. I don't know. I think it's a bit too long. What are you doing? I'm drawing a unicorn. If the average horse is about five feet tall at its shoulder, then the unicorn's horn shouldn't be more than two feet. Maybe this came from a really tall unicorn, or a unicorn with a really long horn. I don't know, it all seems pretty far-fetched. Wait a minute, Jillian. How did you get my pen to work again? Eh, sometimes ballpoint pens get stuck and then they start working again. The horn was pointing right at that pen. I think it made it work again. Really? I remember reading that unicorns have healing powers. So you're saying that this is a magical pen-fixing unicorn horn? Well, not specifically for pens, but they are supposed to have healing powers. Well, fixing isn't the same as healing. Well, what makes you the expert? 
I know, let's do an experiment. Maybe this unicorn horn can fix my phone. Abracadabra, fix my phone. Alright, I get it. Maybe it is a stupid idea. Wait a minute. What is it, Jillian? It's working now. Let me see that. See, I told you it had healing powers. Maybe it does. What's wrong, Jillian? I don't know. I'm starting to get a really bad headache. I don't know, Jillian. Maybe the unicorn horn has something to do with it. Don't be ridiculous. I think we should test this thing out more. Do you have anything else around here that needs fixed? Well, Mom keeps telling me I need to reorganize these bookshelves. Alright, fix that. And nothing happened. I knew it was too good to be true. Ah. Headache again? Yeah, it just keeps getting worse. Maybe you should lie down. Wait a minute, that fly's back. It can't be the same fly, Addy. I already squished him right over there. He's gone. The horn, it didn't fix the bookshelf, it fixed the fly. That's impossible, Addy. That fly was a goner. First it fixed the pen, then it fixed your phone. Why couldn't it have fixed the fly? Because you can't bring dead things back to life. Well, why is it flying around then? I don't know, maybe I just stunned it. You said it yourself, you squished it, and we know the horn fixes things. You really need to take care of that headache, Jillian. Well, if this horn really fixes things, maybe it can fix my headache. Jillian, that seems like a really bad idea. Take away my pain. Jillian, are you alright? Yeah, my headache is gone. I think I heard something happen to the TV. I will try to turn it on. You're right, it doesn't work. I think I know what's going on here. When the horn fixes something, it has to break something else. Whatever are you talking about? Each time you used the horn before, it made your headache worse, but whenever you tried to fix your headache, it broke the TV. That is an interesting theory. My headache is gone, and the TV is broken. Jillian, your headache may be gone, but you don't seem like yourself anymore. I feel fine. You don't seem fine. This is the best I've felt in years. No worries, no pain. No stress. I think we should fix your head, too. I don't want to become like you. Just hold still. This won't hurt. Your big sister knows what's best for you. Just give me a minute to think about it, Jillian. Alright, Jillian, go ahead. Good choice. Jillian, are you alright? Jillian! What happened? I was trying to fix you, but I think I broke your phone again. You broke my phone again? Why do you do that? Ah, that's the real Jillian. You're back! Thanks, I guess. Hey, what happened to the horn? It disappeared! Why would it disappear? In a way, the horn was the problem, so it fixed itself by going away. But we could have fixed so many more things. Think of all the world problems we could have solved. It's probably for the best. I guess so. If we couldn't handle it, what chance would the rest of the world have? I'm just glad you're yourself again. Wanna hug it out? Nope. I was just testing to see if that really was you. All right, so here we are behind the scenes. So uh, what did we just do? Why are you wearing a coat? Uh, we went outside for the thumbnail. Which mm -hmm. is thumbnail? Yeah, I just took mine off. So oh, you just took your jacket off. And what's this here? It's a story. It's treatment. a story. Yeah. Yeah, this is a story.
Yeah, we, we don't script line by line unless it's like um, green screen or effects yeah. or double people or... Oh, and what's this? It's my horn. I forgot to put it back up. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is this a real unicorn horn? No. What is it? It's a narwhal, right? It's not an actual it's narwhal. narwhal. Right. Not yeah, we would never use it a real animal. Yeah. They molded it. It's a so mold. It's a mold of the narwhal. Yeah. There's, there was from, I guess, one that was already long. Yeah, so... Yeah, it's super long. I can't imagine, like, an Arwa had... But this, this some people oh, say this thing. is where the unicorn myth came from, that mm -hmm. people, sailors were returning with narwhal horns and say, selling them as unicorn horns. Mm -hmm. There's even a king that had a um, whole throne made out of unicorn horns, which are were narwhal horns because they thought it was like good luck for the kingdom. Uh, Seriously. I can't, I, I would imagine how that would look like. It was like, that would look yeah. pretty spiky. Yeah. They look cooler. Yep. <laughs> if you don't know what a narwhal is, what is a narwhal? It's like a sea creature that has a horn. Yeah. <laughs> They're kind of closely related to whales. I think it may even be a type of whale. I didn't yeah. even know if they were real until like a Yeah, years. and the horn is actually their tooth. They have one tooth that grows. Oh. Yep. That's what it is. So that was We Found a Unicorn Horn. Be sure to click the thumbs up button because that tells YouTube that you want to see more content like this. And you do want to see more content like this, right? Do you like comedy? Do you like laughing? Well, then you should check out our comedy channel, Jillian and Addie Laugh. We post new videos every Friday. Do you like amusement parks, vacation trips, or just shopping for Halloween decorations? Well, you can see all of that on Jillian and Natty Life. We post new videos every Saturday. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, Jillian and Natty, for new spooky stories, mysteries, and magic every Sunday. Be sure to follow us on Instagram. We not only post new pictures, videos, and stories every day, we also post little sneak peeks at what we're working on. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'm still drawing. Oh, yes. A candy corn hat. Who wears those?